today is 15 August, which property would I be doing a feng shui on? It's two times the space of my current home. So that unit is that penthouse. The condominium name is Highline. What I really like about it is that first, contrary to the floor plans that I've always seen uh, in HDB flats or condominium flats, there's always missing sectors. But for the particular unit, just for the particular unit, uh, there are no missing sectors. But if you look at other penthouse in that uh, same project, there are some areas that are missing. And what this means is that I can use all the areas uh, which I'm going to show you through uh, the PowerPoint that with all those spaces available, you be, we are able to use it to support the activities and the endeavors that we want to achieve. So since the space is large, uh, you'll be able to use it, right? And design all the internal forms to help us achieve our goals and objective. Uh, I'll jump into the analysis uh, using my parents' chart. They are 66 this year. So my priorities for them is definitely health, uh, wealth or so-called keeping active, then relationships. So continue to watch. So right now, let's hit in. You will see this screen and you also see them recording my laptop. I um, want to make this video very concise so when I downloaded the brochure you right now you will see that this is the whole floor plan and while I was looking at the floor plan just now I forgot to highlight one very important thing that is apart from a very small missing sector but what I really like about this unit is that if you look this whole part of the balcony right because balcony is also one of the important features and internal form that will allow the chi to stay at that particular sector. So that is why when I see that eh, there is a balcony that can store the chi around the living room, the dining room and the three bedrooms, bedroom two, bedroom three and the master bedroom. I was like, whoa, this is a very uh, special unit. That is what I needed to uh, just patch up across then apart from that this whole video is gonna be uh, this video is gonna be about helping my parents to uh, feng shui for their health as uh, I went to plot the charts I cut short everything right what you can see is that there is this next picture where there is a 24 mountains plus uh, the that my dad's chart on the left and my mom's chart on the right we're just simply using the eight mentions method because it is for a long term of course different schools will allow or use different formulas to do it but right now i'm just keeping it simple uh, because for you who is watching this want to make things simple something more applicable or executable things just a small shift right then we continue to make bigger shifts what we want to do next is uh, by looking at my dad's uh, health right and that's the governed by the TNE sector so you see that my dad is having an east and for my mom is having a south what I'll do is that living in that uh, penthouse okay I will put my dad at bedroom one so let me just toggle between the two you see that east it covers the bedroom one so that's why i'll get my dad to sleep okay so sector before direction then for my mom what i would request her to do is to sleep in bedroom two they belong to the east group so that's why it is much easier for them to have a home uh, that has more usable areas yeah why do i say east group it's because they have mainly three sectors that they can use so you see that north south east and south east and north south east and south east but if you don't understand never mind uh, during the consultation uh, we can always uh, bring this or dive in deeper to yours so that's for my dad 
my dad at bedroom one here and for my mom is at bedroom two here okay um next thing in mind is that because uh, for elderly i always want to uh, ensure that the home occupants are kept active active as in brain active meaning that they're engaged uh, rather than uh, sitting idly at home so one of the things that I would look at for my dad would be using utilizing the intelligence uh, sector so you see that there's a monkey sector and it happens to be at the bedroom tree so instead of it being a bedroom my dad has the option to say hey why not let's convert this bedroom into a study room and that is the advantage of having a spacious home where you can design the internal forms for my dad i will change that bedroom tree into a working room for him so this is basically what i would do if i would own this home if you like me to perhaps uh, look at your home before you determine or design what you like to put internally in your home or you can go down to the description below and uh, follow the instructions I'll reach out to you thank you for tuning in uh, oh one last thing before you uh, we say goodbye uh, probably might just want to drop at the comments below on a particular property that you're looking at and I'll see whether can I uh, do a quick consultation using my parents charts so thank you for tuning in.